those exemptions by by quite a margin. Like mm. just an example, and I ain't snitching because I didn't say the company's name because they all do it. Um, company I was with hauling crude oil, we were permitted to at least on the roads that we had to use, we were permitted to 104,000 pounds. Mm. I can document and say for a fact I was running no less than 120 every day, sometimes as much as 140,000 pounds. That's crazy. Did you get paid a bump for doing that? Oh my God, yes. I was making $600 a day when I was with them. Jeez. Not I got me. fired for something stupid, but you know. I think, but my thing is with that is like putting your license at risk. Right. That's literally the way you make money. Yeah. Putting that at risk is just nuts to me. But I mean, people do it. I have I ran illegal a few times in my younger days and I stopped doing it because I just don't want to drive that much. Right. I mean, I I in hindsight, I I'll never do that again. But yeah, I did. And you'd have made some I, I, Oh yeah, I made a oh god, I made a crazy amounts of money. Like when I was when I was with them, which I mean I'm fortunate to have done that because it helped me pay off my divorce. But yeah, I was making three grand a week when I was with them at, and the best weeks, and then two grand two grand was a bad week. Jesus Christ, man. I mean, it's funny in this war, uh uh my father had a saying back in the day. He said you can either do everything right or make money. That's it. Sad to say. You can either do everything right or make money. That's nuts. Yeah. When you're with your trainer or you're going through some training program and the big the big boys, they're teaching you how to do everything right. They're not teaching you how to make no money. They care about safety because safety is a liability they have to pay for. Exactly. Other than that, they're not really discussing how you make money. What company y'all went to as a trainee that was talking about your your money? Uh, you mean as far as like making a bunch of money? Yeah, like like when you're in the like you're coming to get your CDL. Mm -hmm. How many of them are telling you how to play with your logbook to make money? They tell you how to not get dinged. They tell you the way you're supposed to run it, but they don't tell you, you know, run it like this to make money. No one mm. ever said to me, my first two years of driving, no one ever told me to stay 10 hours in the sleeper. I learned that oh, from the driver yeah. two hours later. Two years I learned later. that from I learned that from you. Because right. So like how that be, how my that rookie be? year. Yeah, in my rookie year, um, when I was hauling chemical tanks, I would do and was well, stupid me, which you know, learning you learn, you live and learn. But yeah, I would do 10 hours loaded and then I would take my sweet time getting back because I did dedicate it. <laughs> so I do 10 hours, 10 hours, 10 hours to get where I'm going. And then I'm sleeping 12, 14 every night, every night to get back for the next load, which was just, oh God, it was killing my money. I was losing so much money doing that. But, you know. Yeah. My thing is, why wouldn't they say, listen, man, right there in class. Right. Stay in the sleep for 10 hours. That should be in the class. Right. And it's not because all they care about is don't crash my shit. Don't get me in a lawsuit and don't get the uh, CSA dinged you making money afterthought that's it and that and that's one of my problems with the industry because when i would get my trainee they'd be like oh you know that man forget everything they told you i'm going to teach you how to make money yeah because i learned teaching them how to make money made me money because now they're running in a way where i can see a profit if you come in here talking about safety all the time and they're hitting you with oh they said in class if i feel tired take a nap nah Oh yeah, they ain't with none of that. That is not how this works. That's just that's just them covering their liability. That's not <laughs> that's not them caring about your health and safety. Trust yeah. me. That's them not being on tape saying you have to drive tired. When the truth is, you got to drive tired, bro. Yeah. And just anyone you drive and just run and pull up, I'm fatigued, and watch how fast you get fired, oh. and watch how much they stall you out on loads. Oh, they're gonna stall you to death. They're gonna you're gonna that next week you're gonna be making six hundred dollars. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna force you for out of need of survival to quit, right? Or you need to somehow atone for for that mistake. Yeah, because the way they look at it, if you're not getting your rest during your ten hour break, you're doing. If you're on the phone all day, all day with your old lady, 
up all night and then saying you're fatigued the next day, that is not a passable fatigue. You're no. fatigued based on you not managing your time. You're not fatigued because what you've done now, if you do an overnight shift and you say, listen, dude, it's, it'll be dangerous for me to uh, drive right now. That's understood. But if you just had a regular day yesterday and you just decided to stay up all night arguing with your old lady and you're tired the next day, that's going to count against you. That's going to yeah. count against you, bro. That's why the people do older dudes tell you that relationship shit kills your money in this game. I mean, anyone can tell you who's been in a bad marriage in this game. That relationship shit kills your money. Chase pussy in general kills your money in this game. That's a fact. The people who make the money in this game, they either are married or they live like monks. You have to. You have to have that discipline. That's the only way. They live like monks. They don't drink. They damn sure don't do drugs. And they get pussy when the load says they can get the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, and for me that became that became near quarterly <laughs> yeah, you know, and even then I might skip a quarter because <laughs> right, most 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 dudes have a pussy in a pocket of the country so it'll be like this the OTR he knows he's going to get butt if the load says something like uh, pick up in Fontana opening ended in Houston or Dallas <laughs> Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon and it does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who subbed to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is linked at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon.